think we can encourage more women to enter careers in traditionally male-dominated fields? Um, there's a saying, if you can see it, you can be it. And what that means is if a lot of younger women who are at the impressionable age, right, you're figuring out your career, you're still deciding where to go, what to do, if you can see women in these male-dominated environments, whether it's STEM or whatever it is, those during this impressionable phase deciding their career would be more likely to choose and enter those fields if they're like, oh, I have a role model there. So what I hope is that for women who are in these male-dominated environments, actually talk about their work, promote themselves. But of course, you know, do it in a classy way, do it in a way that you may inspire other people. You may change the course of a young woman who looks at you and the work you do and thought, you know what, I want to be like her. Someone says, well, this outcome is unfair and that's the way life is, sorry. Then my immediate question is, says who? Who says it has to be and has to remain this way? I think a vision for me, Malaysia would be a space where people of any gender, for that matter, have the space to exist, to be safe, to live their life with dignity, to have the possibility of fulfilling their best potential and that their contributions are all equally valued. That would be my vision for Malaysia. What future do you envision um, one that benefits women? We started the Asli Co in 2019 with a mission to empower our Asli mothers to make a sustainable livelihood from their homes. We teach them and train them how to make our products from home so that they can earn an additional income and to ensure that their kids don't drop out of school. I see a world where women from all walks of life actually empowering each other, supporting each other, nurturing each other because the future is female. We can do a lot more together if we stick together instead of fighting each other. <laughs>